Life is full of myths, whether it be the color red making bulls angry or the fact that we only use 10% of our brains. What if I told you that snakes are no exception to the realm of myths and mistruth? Today, we're going to focus on three myths associated with snakes and their behaviors. So, let's get into it. The first thing most people are taught at a young age about snakes is that it's easy to distinguish a venomous snake from a non-venomous snake simply by looking at its head. The common belief surrounding this is that a venomous snake will have a triangular shaped head and a non-venomous snake will have a round head. This comes from the fact that venomous snakes tend to have a wider head profile near the base of their skulls, which is attributed to the venom sacs on either sides of their head. These venom sacs often make the sides of the faces protrude quite a bit, giving the stereotypical diamond or triangular shaped head. And while it is true that venomous snakes tend to have uniquely shaped heads, it's also true that non-venomous snakes can sometimes have triangular shaped heads when they feel threatened. This is because as part of a defensive display, snakes will flatten themselves out to try and appear larger to a would-be predator. However, when this happens, it causes their head profile to significantly widen and gives you a very triangularly shaped head on a non-venomous snake. Did you know that trying to figure out if a snake is venomous by just looking at its pupils is a bit like judging a book by its cover? Let's dive into why. You may have been led to think that if a snake has slit, cat-like pupils, it must be venomous, and if its pupils are round, it's not dangerous. But here's a secret. This idea is actually a bit tricky. First up, let's talk about slit pupils. Sure, many venomous snakes like vipers and pit vipers have these. They help them see well in the dark and hunt for prey. But not even all snakes with slit pupils are venomous. For instance, here in the US, we have both the night snake and cat-eyed snake, which have vertically slit pupils. And guess what? Some venomous snakes can actually have round pupils too. Sometimes their pupils can change shape, much like ours, depending on their mood and surroundings. When a snake is super excited or scared, or if it's in low light, its pupils might look round. This means you can't always tell if a snake is venomous just by its pupil shape. It's like if you were in a dark room and your eyes got bigger just so you could see better or when you're standing in front of a buffet line ready to devour some of your favorite food. So while slit pupils are often associated with venomous snakes and round pupils with harmless ones, it's not necessarily a foolproof method. Snakes can have all kinds of pupil shapes and sizes depending on their needs and environments. As a few examples, here's a copperhead, and another copperhead, and another copperhead, and a cottonmouth, and another copperhead, and here's a Mojave rattlesnake. And here's a good example. Uh, never mind, that's uh, King Cobra on the bottom there. So remember, if you're ever unsure, it's best not to rely on this wives tale. It's always best to admire from a safe distance and seek expert advice to ensure your safety. Imagine this. You're out enjoying a perfect day by the river, splashing around with your family and soaking up the sounds of nature. Suddenly you spot a snake swimming nearby. Now, if you've heard the myth that you can identify a snake's danger level just by how it swims, you might be tempted to look at whether it's on top of or below the water's surface. But this way of identifying snakes is not as reliable as you might think. Snakes swim in all kinds of ways. For example, a venomous cottonmouth might glide beneath the surface while a harmless rat snake could be swimming right on top. Just like us, snakes adjust how they swim based on what they want to do. They inflate their lungs to float on the surface and can deflate them to swim underneath. And it makes sense if you think about it from a hunting perspective. Snakes in or around water are there because their prey, like fish or amphibians, are there too. Whether it's a water snake that loves to feast on fish or a cottonmouth that enjoys a varied diet, being able to swim underwater helps them catch their meals. So next time you see a snake in the water, remember that how it swims doesn't tell you if it's dangerous or not. But keep in mind that any encounter with a snake can be made safe by simply leaving it alone. Now you may be wondering, if the quick tips don't work, how am I supposed to know if a snake is safe or potentially harmful? Knowing which snakes are venomous in your area is key, and in the U.S. most regions only have a few venomous species, and researching them is actually incredibly easy to do. Once you're familiar with these, you can generally assume any other snakes are harmless. And if you find a snake you can't identify, just keep your distance and respect its space. Remember, in a snake encounter, the snake is much more vulnerable than you. 
If you find a snake that you are unable to identify, there are multiple ways to get a quick, reliable identification. One way is our app, SnakeSnap. With the simple click of a few buttons, you can send a photo directly to us where our team is always on standby to assist you with an ID. Most IDs are responded to within just a couple of minutes to keep you and your loved ones in the know and as safe as possible. Most importantly, remember that snakes are beautiful creatures of evolution and they are extremely beneficial to our native ecosystems. This has been Jordan with SnakeSnap, and until next time, stay safe, enjoy wildlife, and love all nature. See ya.